I actually did a double major in marine biology and wildlife and conservation biology. I've always been interested in wildlife ever since I was a little kid. You know, I grew up watching National Geographic and my dad's a hydrogeologist so he'd bring rocks home all the time and so it was just something that I was always interested in ever since I was really small. I joined the Navy right out of high school. I worked in an anti-submarine warfare command for a couple of years, so I did sonar range predictions. And so I worked on marine mammal mitigation for one of the exercises and basically just looked at what the safe ranges would be from areas where marine mammals resided and prevent using sonar in a way that might harm marine mammals. So I applied to URI before I got out of the Navy. I got out of the Navy in April of 2008 and then started at URI in September of 2008. I really loved going to India with Dr. Husband on the India Expedition in 2010. So we went for close to a month, it was about 25 days, and we did uh, mammal biodiversity surveys on coffee farms that use agroforestry. But I also participated in the New England Cottontail Project, which is a project that's trying to find evidence of the New England Cottontail. Hunters had brought the Eastern Cottontail from the Midwest to beef up the hunting populations, and for some reason, the Eastern Cottontail has been outcompeting the New England Cottontail, so the New England has been disappearing. There isn't too much algae out today, but what we're trying to do is look at the blades that are just starting to grow. We're trying to figure out the mechanisms behind algal blooms and what can cause them. So algal blooms have a big impact on the coastal communities in Rhode Island because it affects tourism, it can affect beachgoers, it can have an impact on shellfish, it can have an impact on fishing. So we are collecting the algae to take back to the lab. I love the professors and the departments are just great and they have a lot of really great research opportunities. So I, I see a lot of people that I go to school with, you know, they're doing coastal fellowships or working at the GSO or working for a professor in their lab and it, it's just really great to be able to get out there and get the hands-on experience and learn what actually goes on in research.